Mathematics is the foundation to human world and the foundation to your JEE preparation. And if you suck at maths, you'll probably suck at physics, physical chemistry, and most importantly, you'll suck at problem solving, which can have a major impact in your life when you grow up, not just in your IT JEE preparation. And at the same time, if you're already good at physics or physical chemistry, you can be great at maths. But just that you're not focusing on the right pillars of mathematics. In this video, my only goal is to make you improve in mathematics. And by using the tips in this video, if you're currently scoring 20 out of 100, you'll be able to score 50 or 60 out of 100. And if you're already scoring 50 out of 100, you'll be able to score 70 to 80 out of 100. So listen to me carefully for the next 8 minutes of your life. And I'll make sure that these 8 minutes will be the best 8 minutes of your entire life. Let's start. See, the first step to be great at maths is to develop patience. Chances are you're so messed up in your life right now that the first thing that you actually do right after you wake up is to start scrolling reels. Your dopamine levels are so high that you can't even sit and solve two or three maths questions for 15 minutes. See, becoming great at maths requires you to get into flow state. A state where you completely lose connection with the external world and you just get into the task that you're actually doing right now. This allows you to unlock the state in which you get ideas fast and you'll be able to solve questions three to four times faster than your normal pace. And this is the foundation of being great at mathematics. Like every single great mathematician that you can see can unlock this state of mind. They just get lost in solving questions after questions and that's how they actually get great at mathematics. So before we get into the core part of this video, I want to set the fundamentals right. I want you to reset your dopamine levels and your state of mind. Start meditating for 10 minutes every day. Drink at least 3 to 4 liters of water every day because a dehydrated body doesn't support the brain to perform complex calculations. And at last, sleep for 7 to 8 hours every single day and never start your days by scrolling reels. These are the fundamentals which will make the process of getting good at maths much more easier for you. See, I don't want you to watch this video like another random video on the internet. I want you to take action. Pause the video right now and promise me in the comments. Tarun, from today, I'll make sure that my fundamentals are all set. I promise. Now let's talk about how maths can be both an easy and also difficult subject at the same time. Most of the things that you study in maths are built on some fundamental concepts. And that's why learning a new concept will be much more easier if you have the basics right. But at the same time, if you miss out on any of the fundamentals, then the rest of maths will look like an alien to you. It's like a huge web of concepts built upon each other. Now imagine you miss one to two weeks of classes in the beginning of the chapter. That's it. The entire rest of the chapter is gone for you. Or imagine you don't know the basic prerequisite chapters when a new chapter starts. Then even the new chapter is also gone for you. But again, don't worry. We have a solution for this. The easiest way is to spend one to two hours learning the prerequisites when a new chapter is going to start. If you're self-studying, then just open ChatGPT and give the entire list of chapters present in your IIT JE syllabus. Now let's say a new chapter like Integral Calculus is going to start. You can just ask for the list of prerequisites by using a single prompt like this. This is the list of chapters for IIT JE. What are the prerequisites for integral calculus from this list? I need a specific list of concepts that I need to revise. So give just one to two lines of explanation of all these concepts. Remove complex things, I just need the basics. That's it, you have the list. Spend one to two hours going through them. And this will make sure that you have all the basics covered and will save you days and days of time going forward. But if you're in school, college or coaching, you can just ask your teacher for the same. Now don't be scared that other students in the class will judge you if you ask these silly questions and all of those things. It's okay. You'll end up being dumb your entire life if you don't ask questions. So the choice is yours. So now, finally, let's talk about the core of mathematics, which makes or breaks a student. If you understand this core well, you'll go from a weak student to being an average student. But if you understand and also execute this well, you'll go from a weak student to being the god of mathematics. Basically, there are four pillars in scoring well in mathematics. The first pillar is knowing the concept and the formulas well. And this actually supports 40% of the weight of scoring well in mathematics. I mean, even if you listen to the lectures, make a list of formulas and then solve formula-based questions for all the chapters, you'll still end up scoring 30 to 40 marks in the exam. Just spending one hour every day solving 10 to 15 questions is enough. And if you're not even able to do this, why the hell are you preparing for IIT JEE? You don't deserve to prepare for IIT JEE. These are the basics and this is the least that you can do. Now, the second pillar also supports 40% of the weight but is a bit more complex than the first pillar. And this is the pillar where getting into flow state plays a major role. And if you can't get into flow state, then you won't be able to unlock this stage. This pillar is called the pattern recognition. Some people say that if you didn't solve a question before, you'll never be able to solve it in the exam, which is true for normal people, but is not applicable to people who are in flow state, where the pattern recognition skills are at the top of the game. 
you see you'll be able to unlock this skill when you solve at least 100 to 150 questions in all the chapters it's all the game of practice but again to be able to solve those many number of questions you need intense amount of focus and commitment and this is the stage that separates an average person to the top as someone in this stage solves more and more questions their brain will be habituated to unlock new kind of questions in the matter of seconds they look at the questions draw the diagrams and boom you can see that pen never stops until they find the answer the pattern recognition with flow state is the second pillar and if you are able to unlock this you'll be able to score at least 70 to 80 marks in your je mains mathematics so now comes the third pillar and this is a bit more complex than maths itself it all roots back to human psychology and mostly comes through emulating the real test scenarios a lot of times by giving a lot of mock tests this pillar is called rapid decision making now students who unlock this stage understand the core skill of test taking not all the questions in the exam are of equal weightage i mean it might look like everything is of four marks but clearly some of them take 15 seconds to solve whereas a few take 15 minutes to solve the students who unlock this pillar won't chase their ego by solving the most difficult questions in the exam because they understand that after the exam no one cares about which question you might have solved everyone cares about how many marks you got that's why they solve the questions in the proper order like easy medium medium but long and then go to the difficult questions at the end now for you to identify the types of questions you need to get past the second pillar and then to make the decision in milliseconds in intense exam conditions you need to unlock the third pillar and you get good at this by giving a lot of mock tests not just practicing but practicing with a clock beside you now the last pillar this is the pillar for gods for someone who's in deep passion with the subjects and so so long that they solve thousands and thousands of questions in their life. Their solving speed is so quick, they don't use calculators, they don't even write all the steps down, they don't even write the formulas down. And this is what the God tier looks like. It's only for the elites who dedicate themselves entirely to the love of the subject. Now, 99,999 students out of the 1 lakh students who will watch this video will fail to unlock this stage. Because it's not possible for normal students like us. But you also have to understand, scoring 70, 70, 70 in each of the subjects will be much more better and also comparatively easier than scoring 100 out of 100 in one single subject. So, frankly speaking, you don't even need to target for pillar 4. Just the first three pillars are more than enough for you to crack IITJ or to score really well in mathematics. I understand becoming a god at a subject might sound cool to some of you. But it's not the most practical advice that I would like to give to you. Now you can take a screenshot of this slide for the best book recommendations for IIT JE Mathematics. That's it, this is all you need to get good at mathematics. Take a screenshot of this one too. And if you're someone trying to find out the best lectures, the best revision series or the best PYQ series on YouTube, I've compiled all of them for you so that you can save your time and just focus on your preparation. I've also listed down the most important chapters for both JE Mains and JE Advanced along with the marks and the weightage of these chapters. Thank me later. Now I wish you all the best. I'll see you very soon. You can also pre-register for the mentorship program which will start in the first week of October. Bye. Oh my god, I'm just playing with them now, yeah.